what is rest? Is it lounging in your favorite comfortable chair? Is it getting away from your problems? Is it feeling completely 100% comfortable? Is it sleeping, a lot of sleeping? Is that what rest is? Is rest running away from the day-to-day hustle and bustle? Is it being distracted from the daily hustle and bustle? What? What is rest? And I don't think it's any of these things. Rest is not the absence of problems. It is the presence of God. Brennan Manning says we have that peace when the gracious God is all we seek. So when we are in God's presence, that is when we find rest. He is our rest. Matthew 11, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In Exodus 33, the Lord says to Moses, hey, listen, I am going to be with you and be your rest. He is our source of rest. We rest because God rested and he commanded us to rest. And so we do that uh, in order to copy, in order to to mimic him in, in obedience. But we also rest because Jesus did everything that needed to be done. When we rest, we are declaring there is nothing more I need to do. I am not needed. Everything that is necessary has been done. I can stop. I can stop in the middle of work, in a very important week of work, because even though that's important, it's not necessary. Everything that's necessary has been done in Jesus Christ. And that's why I can stop. That's why I can rest. And that's also why it's hard for me to stop and rest because it attacks my pride when I rest because I want to keep doing and doing and doing and doing. And I feel like I wrap my identity around what I do so often. But when I stop and rest... I am reminding myself that my identity is not in what I do, but in what Jesus has done. And so to continue on and work without rest is prideful. It's rebellion against God. But when we stop and when we rest, we're reminding ourselves we are not needed. All that has been needed to be done has been done in Jesus. He's all that we need. So I encourage you, if you're about to go on vacation, or if you've just been working and working and working, or if you're just living your life from day to day and you haven't been in the presence of God, you haven't been pursuing the gracious God, then you're not going to find rest. So when you go on vacation, when you decide to stop, remember that it's not about the sleep you get, it's not about running away from your problems, but it's about being in the presence of Jesus. If you're not in the presence of Jesus, then you're not going to get rest.